and welcome back to another video and before we jump on into this video i just want to do the usual if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button please make sure that notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of whenever i upload a video and why not give this video a thumbs up now we can jump on in so guys a while ago when i did one of my giveaways i asked you to ask me some really juicy questions because i wanted to do more of a juicy q a more in depth just so you can get to know me a little bit better um and basically no holds barred so just ask me whatever questions you want to ask me so I am um, preparing myself to read some of these questions because I'm not really sure what is going to have been asked of me but we will see um, so I'm just going to jump right in so the first question is by sparkly princess Lynette hey Lynette and she asks how many boyfriends have you had I've only had two serious boyfriends obviously Dalton that I'm in a relationship with now we've been together for nearly three years now and I was in a relationship before that with um Simon and we were together for seven years and then before that um I just had like a daft boyfriend when we were at school it literally lasted about a week that was it so I've only ever had like three boyfriends but two like proper official boyfriends Alexa Kiraku I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, says, what's the worst date you've ever been on? And to be quite honest with you, girl, I haven't really dated anyone as such because um, I'm a bit boring, really, Anna. Well, I was in a relationship for seven years and then sort of, we split up for about a year and then I jumped back on the bandwagon and me and Dalton got together. So I've only ever really been on dates with Dalton. I've never dated any other lads as such. Um, and we haven't really had a bad date, so I don't really have an answer to that one, sorry. It's Coco, though, says, what do you look for in a guy slash a sexual partner i just want someone who's going to treat me right really i mean isn't that what everyone wants and obviously it has to be someone that i'm attracted to but i'm not like i don't really have like a type as such um if i find you good looking then i find you good looking and i just want someone who's gonna like be there for me like and i think for me a big thing is like emotional support because i do struggle quite a lot with anxiety um and i'm very insecure i really need that like emotional stability from someone else and um, so that's probably the main thing that i look for and then morgan firefield hey girl i see you she says how many children do you want do you want to get married and if so when um I am not really bothered about kids to be quite honest. I know Dalton wants kids so we'll, like I'm quite happy to have like one child. I'm not really interested in having like loads of kids to be quite honest. Um, and then I do, I really want that like, doesn't everyone want like a proper fairy tale wedding? Um, I'd really like, I, I don't want to get married particularly soon but I'd like to get engaged. Um, just because, I don't know, like it's just a dream isn't it? I don't know. Um, can't see that happen anytime soon. I can't see Dalton's going to propose to me but hey ho toast mist win says the naughtiest thing you've ever done in school i was like oh my god i'm so boring i was like proper goody two shoes at school i was like literally teacher's pet um i was a little geek to be quite honest there's nothing wrong with that but yeah uh, i probably the naughtiest thing that i did was um, I don't know if you ever did that when you were in like science class and everyone used to put their hands through like run their hands through Bunsen burners like thinking they were being clever well everyone in my class was doing that and I just happened to do it when the teacher walked back in and I got absolutely bollocked and then I was chewing chewing gum as well I know rebel um, and she was like well you're having a detention and you need to spit that chewing gum into my hand and I was like crying i cried because i was like everyone in the class no one else going to trouble and i did and i was always like frightened that my mom and dad were going to shout at me so yeah let's drink beer says my question is have you ever been cheated on ever in your life yeah i'm not going to go into too much detail about it but in my previous relationship i got cheated on multiple times you know i'm it's just one of them things like you learn from it and you become a stronger person and you learn that it's not you it's them type thing um but yeah that was it was a difficult thing to deal with and um i blame myself a lot for it for a long time and now i've just like realized that you know what it's not you it's them type thing chloe lacklin says what's your guilty pleasure i just like I mean, I've been really, really good recently, so it's not something that I've done for a long time, but I'm terrible for, like, binging out. So, um, like, sitting in front of the telly, just eating. Like, I just I love food and having, like, takeaways and, like, being naughty. But to be quite honest, recently, for probably the last, like, four months, I've been really, really good. I've been consistently sticking to my weight loss. So, but that's probably, like, my guilty pleasure. Or um, I do, like, gaming. I do like to play on the PlayStation um, 4. Right, Khadija Dijabula 
sorry if I can't pronounce your name correctly, um, she says, do you prefer doing it with the lights on or lights off? If I know what you mean by it, I prefer the lights off. Um, I'm very self-conscious and I'm not very confident about my own body um, and I feel really insecure about it, so I just prefer the lights off. And then Fianna KMS says, how old were you when you started getting into makeup? Um, I was, when did me and Simon split up? It was when me and my ex-boyfriend split up um god so it was wasn't that long ago probably in my early 20s so it was i was quite like a late bloomer into makeup Gemma Coombe says what is the biggest secret you have or the biggest lie you have ever been told would really love to win um the biggest secret i have is actually of i mean we don't particularly talk anymore but she is like I would never ever betray her trust is from a friend of mine so I, I'm not gonna um, discuss that because it's personal to her and I'm a good friend and I just wouldn't do that um, but in terms of the biggest lie I have ever told you have ever told I have ever told probably like Dalton would probably say like I lied massively when we got because you do when you first get into relationships don't you lie no I don't mean like I mean like white lies so like I was like oh yeah because basically there was me and another girl and I was like well I want him all for myself so I was like yeah I want to get into the gym I'll go to the gym girls like come on I love food I will go on a diet but I'm not going to the gym do you know what I mean like and now he's like you promised me you were going to go to the gym and I'm like um yeah Mia Hughes says what's your biggest regret probably that I didn't um that I've not been consistent with YouTube for the three years that I've had it. So I wish that I'd put my all into it three years ago and really pushed it out. Because to be honest, when I first started out, it was a hobby. Like, it still is a hobby. But um, it wasn't necessarily something I could... I, I never thought that I could possibly... Um, use it as an income or have it as a job and um, where if i'd have known that three years ago i'd have probably pushed it out a little bit more and be more consistent um like i am now really candy floss says do you want kids anytime soon girl mm -mm, no i mean i am 25 but like probably when i'm about 30 i think like i i want a couple of years of like living my own life and literally like traveling and like just doing my own thing um that might be selfish of me but Gemma Ayres says have you ever cheated no no i wouldn't ever 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 in a million years ever cheat on someone Um, i wouldn't even like do my friends dirty or anything like i'm a massive loyal person i'm loyal to a fault to be quite honest um i just would never want someone to go through the hurt and pain that i went through um because it's just awful like you blame yourself for a lot and it's just not a nice thing and i would never ever ever put anyone through that um no i, I just no i hate i hate cheating i think it's horrible me um, and morgan says when was your first kiss um i think i was about 14 or 15 i was quite old like i was a late bloomer guys really was like i was the ugly duck ugly duckling in school um no one fancied me like anastasia rash murphy says who is your favorite youtuber i live for tati westbrook bomb sarah ashcroft love her like she's incredible um i love stephanie toms who else have i been watching i love shanik so soft does nails is incredible uh rich leary yeah they're probably like the main people that i love so child girl says what is your dream holiday and who would you go with mine is hawaii Ooh, my dream holiday like if i had the money i would love to go like dalton laura or like i would take everyone with me that would be my dream to like take all of my family away with me um and i would love to i would love to travel america um literally to be quite honest i would just my dream would be to travel the world um i would love to go like the maldives and the bahamas and like hawaii all of that sort of thing and um, but i would definitely love to do um like route 66 or something in america that would be like i literally love like america i love key west all of the florida course like literally love it bethan w says watch your zodiac sign and i am capricorn girl i was born in december i was born on december 28th so i'm capricorn charmed wench says who was your celebrity secret celebrity crush i love idris elba like oh dreamy luther that that gray suit red tie oh god you're doing it for me um i also who else do i really like oh zach efron who doesn't love Zac Efron? Like, he's been my crush since I was at school, girls. Like, 
honestly he's gorge um i love um basically like i'm i'm really into like i love the cast of riverdale like literally all of them all of them I, that like that if that was like at school days like that that full cast is like hot isn't it like honestly so yeah i've just got a crush on the full cast of riverdale it's fine lucy cleary says have you ever had a pregnancy scare would you tell a friend if you saw their partner cheat are you a flirt um i've never well, I have, but I haven't. Like, I have because of anxiety, which sounds really strange, but, like, I'm the type of person, I can be on the pill or have an implant, I could use condoms and everything, and I would still be like, oh, my God, I'm pregnant. Like, because my anxiety makes me, like, overthink. So, like, if I've, like, I'm a week late or whatever, I panic because, like, oh, it might be that like, I don't have a period anyway with the contraception I'm on, but I'm like, oh, my God, I've not had a period. I'm a pregnant. Like, I, I panic. I just overthink things. Um, but I have in that way, but I've not actually, like, fell pregnant and then, do you know what I mean, had to... Um, sort of deal with that um i would tell a friend if i saw their partner she, i would probably approach the partner first and then i would go to my friend but you would i would do it in a tactile way because you don't want to do it in a way where it backfires on you because i've been in that situation before when it, not necessarily with cheating but with other things where if you do it in a certain way it can backfire on you um and um, i am a bit of a flirt but not like I'm not intentionally a flirt, that's just genuinely like my personality. Ashley Snuggles says, um, what are your saddest and happiest memories? Um, my happiest memories are definitely all of my childhood with my nan, all of the holidays I got to go on with my parents, um, literally like everything I did with my auntie and my nana was like bomb. Um, and probably my saddest um, was dealing with when Buster was really poorly um, and we didn't know if he was going to make it. That That's my dog. Um, that was hard because I've never gone through loss. Um, dealing with my nana having dementia is difficult and that's something I have to live with every day and deal with. Um, and my granddad as well on my other side has got dementia so that's a difficult situation. Um, and my breakup with my ex which i'm completely fine now like i'm all over that but that was a very difficult time in my life because literally like i'm the type of girl where i believe in fairy tales and you know spending your life with one person forever um, and that just didn't happen and and i thought that was going to happen so it took me a lot to get over with over that and deal with it autumn wood says what is your favorite dog breed um i love jack russells because i've got two i've got a jack russell shih tzu and i've got a um, which is he's called a jack shit <laughs> called oscar and i've got buster who is a mini jack russell i love jack russells um i oh my god any dog i love any dog um what, who, what other dog types do i love i used to love sharp hairs when i was you know them really wrinkly ones i used to love those um i love terriers really like little oh, just little doggies you can give them a snuggle and yeah i love grace williams says what are your goals in life um girl <laughs> I just want to be successful. I want to earn enough money to live. I want to be able to, I just, it's basically what everyone wants in life. You want enough money to be able to live on, but still enjoy your life. Um, and I just, I, I mean, I would love to do YouTube full time. Like I would love to, whether that will happen for me, I don't know, but you know, we'll have to see what happens. Vicky Tate says, what is your sexuality? Now you're probably confused after me discussing the whole cast of Riverdale being hot. Um, yeah, I am actually straight. Um, I'm straight through and through um, I've only ever had boyfriends and um, I mean I can appreciate a woman I like I will appreciate a good looking girl um, like I say I think all the girls in Riverdale are like stunning um, but I am straight Lucy Potts says what's your longest relationship and can you tell us why you split up um, I'm not going to go into like dirty detail with this because there's so many details which I just it's in the past um, and I don't really want to get into loads of detail but I was with my ex for just about seven years and um, we were together from like young um we were together in primary school split up and then got back together and like i thought that it was end game but i got cheated on multiple times i, I know sometimes you might possibly watch my videos you know I, I hope he has a nice life um and he's happy aloha creation says who is your least favorite celebrity and why i don't really have i don't really have like a like a least favourite celebrity as such. Maze R says, has your relationship ever come to breaking point? My current relationship with Dalton has come to breaking point. Obviously me and Dalton were sort of thrust in this situation where we had to move in together. Um, and I just couldn't take. He struggled with me being here because he's used to being an only child. And I felt 
unwanted like it wasn't his fault it was just a difficult situation because it wasn't choice it was sort of we were thrust into that situation um and we were arguing all the time not like fisticuffs like just you know like bickering and like having the last word all the time and then I just come to a point where I was literally sat on the bed and I burst out crying I was like look um I can't do this anymore like we love each other we want to be together we need to get our shit together and stop making each other unhappy because if we do we're going to resent each other and this just isn't going to work and then we sort of fixed it from there I mean we still fight we still bicker like that's just relationships in general but we don't um we're not arguing all the time like apart from about holidays which I've I got him to book. Mini156 says, what's your worst travel experience? The only bad travel experience I ever had was when I went to Cavos a long time ago. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know all about Cavos. Um, it actually took me off here for a long time because I didn't want to post because it was that bad of an experience. Um, I just went away with some girls. Um, one of them at the time was one of my best friends and um, it just was went tits up. We didn't all know each other very well. We were all bickering, fighting, arguing. One of the girls flew home. My friend ended up in a bar. She had a really bad allergic reaction because she tells them not to put coconut in her drinks because she's allergic to it so she can't drink Malibu and we think someone had put Malibu in one of her drinks and she had she went into anaphylactic shock we were literally on this tiny Greek island honestly besides ourselves and um, she ended up in hospital um like in one of their medical centers and then we figured out she didn't have travel insurance and we just had a hell of a time because the people at the um like hospital type place were like trying to um, get our passport so we couldn't leave like it was just absolutely horrific um i might do like a story time video on that actually and go into more detail because it was it was awful so purple picky says have you had any embarrassing experience while on your period what was your worst experience and is there is there any advice you can give us all when it is that time of that time of the month um i like I used to always get embarrassed about periods and things like and I used to be, be embarrassed to the point where I would send my mum to the shop to buy pads and um, because I just wouldn't want to buy them myself but I just think it's a natural thing like everyone has like every woman has one um, I mean I'm quite fortunate at the moment because of my implant I do only tend to have one every now and again um, but don't be embarrassed about it I mean I have been stuck in loads of situations where because I used to have really bad periods um, and like I've been at work and I've been like oh shit and all my trousers have been soaking wet like it's awful like it's horrific because it's not something you want to go and like be like oh excuse me like I've bled through my trousers like it's embarrassing um but at the end of the day try not to be um especially I mean it's easy when you've got a manager that's female uh but just don't get embarrassed about it like and feel free to like talk to your friends and stuff about it I would like I we do like me and my friends do so Kylie Pritchard says um what are your fears well, she actually she's asked a couple but some of them have already been answered oh hang on so number one she says do you and Dalton ever want children which I've already answered that and she's put um what name would you have for a girl and what name would you have for a boy for a girl I really like Eva or Ava I think I love Ava more and for a boy I really like Leo um I love that name I don't know why or I like Leonardo but Leo for sure I think it's so so cute or Ethan um I do like Ethan as well um and then number two what annoys you most about Dolan probably mostly his um stubborn arsey attitude because <laughs> he can have a stubborn arsey attitude probably that we more so because of the way we were brought up we don't tend to see eye to eye on um in terms of so i'm trying to think of a way to explain this so for instance like this year when we were arguing about holidays it's sort of like for him he'd rather have the money in the bank than have the holiday and the memory where i'm like do you know what i'd rather have a hundred pound in my bank and have all the memories in the world because literally i'm very much of that mindset you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow you might not be here tomorrow you, you i know it sounds extreme but you literally do not know so you live the life to the fullest while you can number three what are your fears probably i just that i'm not gonna know where i want to cut like I'm, I'm struggling to find like a not a meaning in life but like what i want to do like i just can't seem to get on the right path and stick on that path so that 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 worries me um i just want everything to work out i'm worried that things aren't going to work out mandy m says what is the meanest thing you've ever done to your ex um 
I didn't do anything. I was actually really, really nice about the whole situation. I, I'm not like that. I'm not like the type of person where I, even with everything that I went through, I still wish him the best. I wouldn't try and want him up, up, up him or anything like that because I still cared about him. Like, in the day, you know, it is what it is. Mummy Shell says, how did you and Dalton meet? I don't know if I've answered this before, but long story short, we were out on a night out both of us i was out with a friend he was out with his friends um and basically he apparently in his words seen this little blondie across the dance floor and was like i want a piece of her <laughs> then he come over started chatting to me um and we got on really well but then my ex showed up um and tried to make a beeline for me i was obviously upset because we'd not been split up that long um and he disappeared and then about a week later he popped up on snapchat and the rest is history shumaya Man manan sorry if i pronounced your name wrong says have you had any fake friends and how do you deal with them cut them out of your life cut them out of your life you do not need fake friends in your life um I think they're the worst thing possible for your mental health um, and you can tell if someone wants to be your friend genuinely just cut them off it's not worth it it isn't worth your mental health no I just I just don't do I just don't deal with fake friends I just cut people off when they're like that Judy N says is there anything you would like to change about yourself yes physically and in general so i would love to do something with my teeth my teeth really bother me um i would love to have like veneers or something um and possibly something with i wouldn't actually have it done like but you know we're talking about things and um, my top lip bothers me because it's not her like i don't know my top lips like my, my bottom lips really nice and juicy and my top lips not um these are all just menial things and i would also like to be slimmer which we already know i'm already doing that anyway so that's not like a massive deal and then I would just like to have decided what I wanted to do earlier on in life rather than later on. Hey Beaut, two questions by Jess, Rig Jess Rigby. Hey Jess, she says, have you ever struggled with mental health? 100% I have done a video on my struggles with anxiety and I do want to do um, some more, like I want to do one like explaining anxiety and stuff just so you know what I go through with it. Um, and then she's put, as a woman, do you enjoy sex? Yeah. Yeah, like hell yeah, of course I do. Like what? you know who doesn't um i'm not gonna lie and say that i don't i mean i've never had sex <laughs> mom if you're watching sam edwards says how do you take care of your bikini area area with regards to shaving um if i'm going to shave down that area i tend to use um a sensitive shave foam or a sensitive like shaving cream or i will use the nair bikini brush on because it's dead easy and it just basically it's like a hair removal cream it's amazing that's what i would do anyway emily malowowski oh i see you emily she says how old were you when you started wearing makeup and how did you deal with hair how do you deal with hairs so i've been wearing makeup for years i've just never really been into makeup properly until i was in my 20s and in terms of dealing with hairs, i just block it out like i don't deal with that i'm not here to deal with you know shit from people then the day if you want to watch me watch me if you don't don't and if you're going to be negative and be awful then i'm not i'm not here for that sophia says as someone who's considered surgery to fix flaws i think i have um have you ever considered or had surgery i've not had any surgery done as much as um dalton likes to wind people up and be like oh yeah she's got fake boobs which really annoys me i don't have fake boobs i don't have a fake bum i was just naturally blessed with an hourglass figure but um yeah like i mentioned in the previous one i have thought about it but um i don't necessarily think i would go and get it done i think i'd be too frightened to um but and then it says what contraception do you use and have you experimented with different ones what's worked for you so i currently have the um I don't know if you'll be able to see is it in this arm yeah i currently have it's just in this arm here you can probably see the little scar i have the implant and um, i've had three of these now i literally love this like it works really well for me it's in there for three years i can forget about it i don't need to worry um but i have had i was on two different types of pills when i was younger um and they work fine for me for so long but then i suffered really badly with migraines um and that was just no good for me so then i went on the injection which i really enjoyed as well but i could only be on that for so long so then i went to the implant um but um the the this one's definitely worked best for me amy h says do you prefer a guy well groomed or not um i do like someone who looks after themselves uh, i don't necessarily they don't have to necessarily be like I mean, I don't want them to spend more time in the mirror than me, but I do want someone who's going to look after themselves and make sure they're looking like well, which Dalton does. Gravity22 says, my juicy question is, what is your biggest fear? Um, oh God, I was talking about this with my auntie at work the other day and basically I got into this really, really like bad place in my head and I was getting upset because obviously my nana's fallen and I was worrying about my nana not being very well. And um, 
I was sat and I just stood and I thought and I looked at her and I went, what am I going to do? And she went, what do you mean? And I went, well, you're going to go, Nana's going to go, which I know you shouldn't think like this, but my mum went, so it's going to, like, obviously, the way life should work is, unfortunately, like, my family members will pass away before me, so my mum and dad, and then I said, and then you're going to go and I'm going to be left on my own, and I was literally, like, crying my eyes out at work, and Claire was like, oh my god, I was like, I know, but all of you are just going to go and leave me behind, so that, that worries me, like, being on my own. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this really juicy Q&A video. If there's any questions that I've missed or anything that you want to know, leave that question down below. I can always get back to you and answer that. Yeah, I just hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I shall see you in the next one.